Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27982. And also in this video, I'm going to talk about the previous two builds that weren't as interesting, but have a few features and a few fixes. And those are the builds 27975 and also build 27971. So we're talking about three different builds in this video, and we're going to see together what's new in the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview builds for the Canary channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, Please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is also adding the new notification center feature inside the Canary channel, which allows you to use it also on secondary monitors. So this is a pretty nice thing that Microsoft is adding also on the Canary channel. And this will allow you to see your calendar on any of your monitors, as well as the option to show a bigger clock with seconds above the calendar. Other new features, Microsoft is adding the the ability to customize the widgets on the lock screen. If you right click on your desktop and then go to personalize, then scroll down a bit and then go to lock screen, you're going to notice that in the widget section, Microsoft will now allow you to customize these things, basically move widgets around as easy as that. And also you can customize widgets, move down and also remove. So in this case, let's try to remove the daily wonder widgets. I'm going to click on remove and we can also add a widget. You're going to notice that you can add up to four widgets on your lock screen. So now let's add another widget one click on plus add widget and for example let's add a widget that we don't have of course let's add the phone link widget click on add widget and it's going to be added at the bottom and for example we can move it at the second row here and let's also customize the weather widget we're going to click on this customize widget and then you can change the temperature unit i'm going to choose celsius and then we're just going to leave the default location as is click on save and then click on close now let's press windows plus l on our keyboard and you're going to notice that we have the widgets, we have the weather widget here, we have the phone link widget, of course, which will show information if you have your mobile device connected to your computer, and also the daily discovery. Also, you can scroll down to the next one if you want. I think this is pretty interesting to see all these widgets in the lock screen, basically something pretty similar with what you have on your phone. Also, with the widgets board, Microsoft has changed up a few things. You have multiple dashboards and widgets, which give you more space for your favorite widgets. Widgets. You also have a new left side navigation bar here that you can click on widgets to access all your widgets that you have added on your widgets board. And I think this is also pretty useful if you ask me and you also have the settings button where you can customize this alongside with a plus button where you can add a new widget, for example, the Copad image generation widget inside your widgets section. Also related to the new drag tray feature inside this build, Microsoft is adding this as well on the Canary channel where you can quickly share a file to an app to your phone or to other things, for example, an email or other pinned apps that you may have on your system here in the Windows Share window. Now let's talk about a few fixes in this build. For example, related to the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue in the latest Canary builds, causing file explorer to crash when transferring files to a network drive. Related to lock and login screens, Microsoft fixed an issue in the previous build where the media controls might not display on the lock screen. Related to input, they fixed an underlying issue related to Microsoft.inc.dll and relevant API which could result in pen and handwriting not working correctly in apps or app crashes recently due to unexpected exceptions being thrown. And also related to input, fix an issue impacting touch keyboard launch reliability in the latest Canary builds. Related to Windows Hello, Microsoft fix an issue impacting certain devices, which was causing the Windows Hello pin to not work after upgrading to the latest Canary builds until you set it up again. And also related to settings, they fix an issue causing settings to crash when accessing drive information under settings, system, and the storage. This also impacted accessing the drive information from the properties window when you right clicked a drive in File Explorer. There are also some general fixes. For example, they fixed an issue which was leading to visual freezing when interacting with an IME. Fix an issue in the latest Canary builds for insiders with ARM64 PCs, leading to an error message when playing certain games saying the game has crashed with error code 0x0. They fixed an issue where if you used your PC for a while without rebooting, Explorer.exe might start crashing repeatedly. And they also fixed an issue where after the latest update, text might not render correctly when editing content within a multi-line text box in certain apps. And two other fixes fixed an underlying issue which is causing protected content playback to fail for some apps recently, and they fixed an issue impacting the ability to start Hyper-V virtual machines with trusted platform module on ARM64 devices. And of course, there's a new known issue related to the Start menu. Insiders with the new Start menu may experience it unexpectedly scrolling back to the top. This is a small issue that will be fixed in future builds. So this is basically the Canary channel, which is 
basically linked to a new Windows 11 version that may be coming soon, early next year. I'm gonna make a different video about that, but that is related to Windows 11 26 H1. And as I've said, I'm gonna make an in-depth video of all the information that I've gathered about that new version and who is gonna have it at the beginning of next year. So if you enjoyed videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.